Hey folks, thought today we might make some tomato relish. I've uh, got rather an abundance of tomatoes at the moment from the veggie patch, so figured we might, I've probably got too many to use uh, just as fresh tomatoes, so figured I might actually make a batch of relish. I grew up with not only my grandmother, but also my mum making relish every year. Uh, this is a recipe that mum has been making for years and years. It's a mixture of a green tomato pickle that my aunt used to make, or one of my aunts used to make, mixed with the red tomato relish recipe that grandma always used. So um, <clears throat> I've actually got a mixture of tomatoes, uh, sorry, varieties of tomato that um, I've managed to pick from off our bushes. But you can use all of one variety if you want. It's completely up to you. Um, just, I guess, dependent on what tomatoes you've got access to. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. So here we are with everything we need for the relish. As you can see, I've got different varieties of tomatoes here. Uh, there's brown onions, uh, caster sugar, plain flour, salt, white vinegar, and curry powder and mustard powder. And then just off to the side there, my trusty slicer, so that we can uh, slice up the tomatoes and onions. Okay, so here we are. Uh, you can see I've the cherry tomatoes here. I haven't bothered skinning those. All I've actually done is cut them in half. They're quite juicy and the skins aren't thick or tough or anything, so they'll cook down quite nicely. The bigger tomatoes, um, what I've done is actually cut across in them and then blanch them in hot water and then plunge them back into cold water so that I can get the skins off because the skins on those tend to be a little bit thicker. Uh, if all of the skin doesn't actually come off, it's not a major drama. Um, it just means you've got little bits of the skin in your relish unless you want to be pedantic and pick them out, but that's completely up to you. And then just over here, I've just peeled chopped and tailed the onions and cut them in half. All I'm going to do now is use the V-slicer here to actually slice up the onions and the tomatoes and put them straight into the saucepan. Okay, so all of the onions and tomatoes have been sliced up. I've just put them into the pot, uh, including all the juices. And I then added the caster sugar and the white vinegar. Just mixing that all through. Basically what you do now is put this over heat, bring it to boil, and then turn the heat down and let it simmer for about an hour or so and then uh, come back and mix through all the spices and cook it for just a little bit longer. Don't forget to um, check on it every once in a while. Give it a stir um, throughout that hour while it's simmering uh, just to make sure it's not catching on the bottom of the pot. Uh, but we'll come back in a little while and check to see how it's going. 
Okay, so here we are an hour later. You can see this is all nicely cooked down. Um, all the tomatoes have broken down, the onions have softened. Um, you can see here on the side of the saucepan is where the water level was, the liquid level I should say, when we first started. So there's a fair amount of evaporation, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, so I came back and stirred this probably every 10 minutes or so just to make sure there was no tomatoes catching on the bottom of the pot um, so as I say this is an hour an hour's worth of simmering um, <clears throat> so basically all I've done just now I've got my jars in the oven to sterilize just on about 120 degrees and they'll be in for about 20 minutes um, and then just in this bowl here you can see I've mixed up the mustard powder and the curry powder with a little bit more vinegar and uh, also the, uh, some water just so it's a nice kind of thin paste. So basically what you do now is uh, this, um, the pot's actually off the heat just at the minute so take it off the heat, stir through the mustard and curry mixture while it's off the heat, just make sure it's nicely mixed through. Pop it back on the heat for another eight to 10 minutes, just on a low kind of simmer until it thickens. You'll notice it thickens up quite nicely with the flour in there. Um, and then it's just a matter of uh, popping into your sterilized jars. Right, so this has been simmering for 10 minutes, just on a low simmer. You can see it's beautifully thickened up. Still got the chunks of tomato, you can still get the slices of onion as well but nice and thick um, just the way really should be um, right so I'm just about to take my jars out of the oven they're sterilized and then we can just pour it straight in And here we have the finished product. Uh, 14 jars, I think it was. Uh, yep, 14. Um, so, popped the lids on as soon as I had filled the jars. That way, um, it helps with the jars actually sealing whilst the jars and the lids are still hot. Basically, the same temperature as the relish. Um, so yeah, anyway, so these are ready to be labelled and popped away in the pantry um, and thoroughly enjoyed throughout the year. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video folks and we'll see you next time. Cheers.